guys, Zix here. Time to teach you guys how to install Cra Morph Mod into Crazy Craft 4. You played it in Crazy Craft 3, you want it in Crazy Craft 4. You're gonna poop. You're gonna poop yourself once you see how easy this is to do. So, first things first, make sure you have a Crazy Craft 4 instance installed and ran so that it creates all of the folders, populates them. Then, do the same thing for Crazy Craft 3. Do the same thing for Crazy Craft 3, install it, play it, just to run it, you don't have to actually play, but go ahead and run it. Uh, that way it creates and populates all of the folders. So, next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna open up Windows Explorer. I, well, first of all, if you don't know where this is, percentage app data, percentage in this top bar, and kablooey, you're there, you're in the folder. Now, sometimes it's gonna put you in the app data folder, so just go ahead and double click on roaming to put you in this main folder here. Now, now, I am smart enough to have this in my quick access. If you would also like to be smart like Zix, just take whatever folder you want and then drag it in here. So go into the app, whoops, I moved it somewhere. Go into the app data folder, drag this roaming folder over here, and as you can see, it's right there. Let's grab something else so that we can show you how to get rid of it too. Let's say you want local low, just right click and then hit unpin if you want to get rid of it. Now let's go put our Crazy Craft Pack folder in the right folder. I accidentally moved it. So now we're going to go into Crazy Craft 3, we're going to go into Mods, we're going to hit the M button to scroll us down, and kablamo, there it is. Control C, we're going to go back out to the roaming folder, and back into the Mods folder, and Control V. Now the Morph Mod is now here. So now that we have this here, we're going to click on Properties, we're going to click on Security, we're going to click on Administrators, and then we're going to change the permissions. To change the permissions, we're going to click Edit. We're going to go to here, and we want to disable the inheritance on, uh, whoops, on this one right here, Administrators. Disable inheritance, convert inherited permissions. Now we want to click on Edit. Now we have Show Advanced Permissions. We want to deny delete. That's all we need to do. Deny delete. Okay. Deny the delete. Then we're going to apply. Yes. Then we're going to go to system and we're going to do edit again. Then we're going to show advanced permissions. We're going to go to deny and we're going to deny delete. Why are we doing this? Well, uh, morph mod has a or morph mod. Uh, Crazy craft three hit apply. Hit OK. Hit OK. Done. This is now here. Crazy Craft 4 has a tendency to update and remove mods that are not included in the mod pack. That will allow it not to do that. So we're going to go ahead and click, click this, play this, open this up, and 45 minutes from now, I will meet you guys in-game to show off it working. I'll be right back. And we're back, and we're ready to test this bad boy out. Here we are, Minecraft, Crazy Craft 4, and voila! We're ready to go, we're ready to go. My friends, we hit the right bracket button, scroll to the animal that you just killed, and voila, we are a sheepy. Now, I think I know the biggest reason why Crazy Craft 4 opted not to have... Ooh, tax bid. Stay away from those guys. Morph mod. Uh, if I were to kill a flying mob, like this bird over here, this void over here, I will become that void, and I will be able to fly. And immediately I will be able to go... I don't see any. But if there were any inventory pets up there, I would immediately be able to go get one. Uh, so I can kind of see why the mob makers, the void launcher people, decided that it was not a good idea to have. But I really liked the morph mod, and that's why I brought it, I went ahead and brought it back. But that, my friends, is is it. Oh, and you can change that in the settings as well, if you if you so choose. Uh, you can change the settings to where um, you don't get the fly ability, and you can also change it to where you only get the fly ability after uh, after a you go into the Nether or whatever or something like that. Uh, but whatever, it's it's up to you. Uh, however, you want to play, you can always just choose not to fly as well if if that floats your boat but uh yeah that's that's pretty much it of course if you kill a different color sheep uh it's gonna now put it put it there uh, but either way that my friends is gonna do it for this tutorial like i said very easy the most complicated part is if crazy craft 4 updates and removes the the morph mod that can be kind of annoying uh but 
if you don't feel like doing all that permission stuff, or if it doesn't work for you, you can always just move the mod pack back. Uh, you don't have to do all that if you don't want to. Uh, but either way, um, yeah, that's going to do it, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope I have earned your subscription. If you have not yet subscribed and this video helped you, uh, I would greatly appreciate you sticking around for more stuff like this. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.